well, things have changed since then anyway. Um, but first, you probably all saw the announcement that Arcadia have given a $1 million two-year grant to, quote, advance haiku, unquote, um, to a partnership that involves UVA. So I thought it might be nice if we asked Ellen Ramsey, who I believe is the PI for it, if she would tell us a bit more about it, um, what they've got planned. And she's uh, invited a couple of her um, partners on that grant to join us as well, so I'll leave her to introduce them. So, Ellen, over to you. Thanks, Richard. I'll say hello for a minute and then I will turn off my silly screen. Um, I do have slides to share with you. Can you all hear me okay? Yeah. Uh, yet again, I forgot my headset. Um, I, so I'm going to start with some slides, um, and um, with me today is Rachel Katarski, who is um, the lead on the grant from the British Library, and she will pipe in um, with things I get wrong or forget, um, and also talk about their uh, contribution. Let me see if I can share my screen. We did it successfully before you all came in, so let's see if I can do it again now. That one and that one. Can you all see some slides now? Yeah, we've got it. Hello, thanks. Terrific. Okay, I'm just going to go with this view um, because uh, it's working. So, um, I first of all, I want to say thank you to Richard for the invitation to talk today. Um, I was unable to be at Sanvera Connect because of a family emergency um, and had to cancel my, my reservations the day before I was supposed to get on the flight to St. Louis. Um, things are going much better, um, but the morning that uh, I should have been there, I was in the hospital with my husband. So um, thanks again for accommodating me here, um, and uh, I really missed talking to you all um, and, um, you know, um, seeing you all there. So again, thanks. Um, so this grant, um, we, as Richard said, have a million dollar grant for two years um, from the Arcadia Fund. Um, it started in October and um, the idea is to add some things back into um, Haiku that will make it a little bit easier for um, institutions to adopt. Um, there, we were asked to be partners on the grant, um, and it's been an interesting ride so far, and I think we'll be along the way. Um, the um, service provider for the grant is um, the Ubiquity Press, um, who we have an existing relationship with because they run, um, they are the provider for our um, open publishing instance here at UVA. Um, we use Ubiquity Press for our Arcadia service. Um, and, um, and then the uh, other institutional partner is British Library. And as I said, Rachel Kotarski is here today um, to represent them. And um, they have some really great things to add um, to the project as well. Um, I am going to give credit to the folks in one of our sister Arcadia funded projects, the Next Generation Library Publishing Project for completely stealing the format of these slides from them. Um, I really liked them. And so um, thanks to Catherine Mitchell. Um, because I liked what they were talking about um, in terms of what we're doing and what we're not doing. Um, and we didn't want folks to think we're doing anything particularly out of the norm or, you know, unexpected or very, very new here. We're really working on advancing, as is the name of the project, um, an existing platform. Um, and um, we also are not, and I know that um, Brian Hole had gotten some of these questions when he was representing the project um, at the Connect meeting um, as a Ubiquity CEO. Um, I know that he would, had gotten some questions about, well, is this going to distract um, from the advancement of Hyrax, and um, that certainly is not our intention. Um, so, um, and that I'm sure there will be questions and conversation about that, and I welcome that today. Um, also, you know, we're not saying this is the only way to go. 
Um, and if you look at the uh, range of things that specifically this particular funder um, is supporting this year, you will see that they are really putting uh, resources into a number of different um, possibilities for advancing um, sustainable scholarship um, and sustainable openness. So, um, you know, I, we are one of several. Um, and um, the opportunity here and the benefit here is that we're building on, you know, lots and lots of existing fantastic work that this particular community has done for so long. So what are we doing? Um, we want to make haiku more attractive, more um, uh, scaled, um, and I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, obviously, input. Um, and, you know, we really want to continue the work that Stanford and Hannah have done over the years uh, as well. So that's kind of the direction that we want to go. Um, but the interesting piece about this is that um, finding the uh, developer cycles within our institution has been a huge challenge for us. Um, and so this is an opportunity for us to partner um, with a service provider to do the development work. Um, we are, the UVA and British Library are specking the requirements um, and then working with Ubiquity to accomplish um, the, the implementation. So that's a, a model I think that has been used in the past, but one we haven't used in recent years. Um, and, and that's the way that Arcadia wanted this to go. Um, and uh, Ubiquity was uh, right there, ready to do it. So that's the model that we're using. Um, things that we hope to accomplish, certainly um, we really want to see integration of some of the really cool tools um, that we are all looking at for individual implementation in our repositories and see if we can get them to work um, in some scalable ways uh, within Haiku. So, uh, you know, instead of my looking at how I'm going to implement um, on paywall our OA button um, with uh, the standing repository that we have now, or, you know, we already have an ORCID implementation that works with our, what is a SOFIA implementation at UVA, we'd like that to work um, with Haiku, and that's part of the specifications here. Um, and then there are also um, collaboration with long-term preservation services. Um, Rachel might speak about that a little bit more. Um, but uh, we also have um, those goals in mind. So the commitment from UVA is that we are the lead partner institution um, and are hosting the, um, the grant. Um, I'm the PI for the project, um, which is primarily an administrative role. Um, and then our, um, my colleague, Sherry Lake, who is our repository librarian um, and who many of you have met over the years and who has done a lot of work in the community, um, is our uh, local content owner. Um, and then the interesting question that I got from a colleague um, right when we announced the grant was, uh, you know, the first question was, so what are you on now and what are you migrating to? And I was like, well, that's not really, you know, the purpose of this grant, at least in um, the short term. That's a longer term goal. Um, what we want to do is contribute back to the community, make haiku something that we really will consider um, and that when it's ready for us, we will migrate um, as a case study. Our, um, our open content repository instance, which is currently, again, on Sophia, um, into Haiku, if we can get it to do all the things that we want to. And that's an option for us, but it is not really the point of this grant. Um, it's really to make it more attractive to institutions like us, like us and smaller institutions, um, and um, um, also you know, advance things in the ways that we've, we've wanted to see. I'm going to switch to Rachel at this point um, and let her talk a little bit about what British Library's interest in this project is um, and also um, some of the things that they are bringing that I think will um, help the community understand where we're going. Hi everyone, 
So, uh, yes, I'm Rachel Katarski. I am the Head of Research Infrastructure Services here at the British Library. So where we are coming from is that um, for the past 18 months or so, we've been working with Ubiquiti uh, for them to develop us a haiku um, shared repository. So that means we need a research repository for our outputs, but actually we're working with some partner organisations to have them as tenants as part of that repository, which is one of the reasons we've been looking at Haiku for this rather than any of the other uh, Samvare or other repository options. So um, throughout the course of the last 18 months, we have had um, a, a architect, uh, software architect working with us looking at Haiku and how that is going to fit in with our existing systems as well as you know the general architecture of that at the moment. So uh, one of the things that we'll be feeding into this project is kind of his overview and his feeling of how the architecture of Haiku sits at the moment, how it will work with uh, integrating into things like our developing um, preservation service which is at very early stages at the moment um, so it's unlikely we will actually be able to connect to our preservation services by the end of the project but at least we'll have a pathway to look at how we might do that beyond the project um, and yeah feed these kinds of recommendations back into ubiquity as they develop now we're at the end of our current um, kind of 18 month pilot project with ubiquity and early next year we will be going out to tender again for a continuation of that project um, because that's an open process, you know, it might not be ubiquity that gets that in the future, who knows. Um, so one of the things that we're saying around the British Library's involvement is that we are kind of feeding in our opinion as part of the user community. And actually, this is where our project uh, officer will come in, because actually we want them to engage more widely with the Samvera and Haiku community to look at the broader needs and not just the British Library needs um, and kind of feed those in. To the project so it's not just uh, here is the british library and its own thoughts but actually you know really engaging with you guys um and folks across the uk and europe using sam vera um into the requirements that we feed into ubiquity as part of this project essentially so i think that's um yeah i think that's a summary of where we're at thanks rachel that was a, a great summary um, and that's a nice segue into the last partner's information. I don't think Brian is here with us today. I know he had a conflict today. Um, and I told him it was only fair that I do this presentation today since he took the heavy lifting um, when I was unable to be at Connect with you all. Um, but um, we wanted to point out what their role is. Um, and um, I, we've also, uh, Rachel and I had a great call yesterday with Elisa Barrett, who is the project manager for Ubiquity, um, and they are in the process of building their uh, developer and uh, design team. Um, the other piece that you will see from Brian, and you've already seen that um, at, at Sundera Connect, just as Rachel was saying that um, British Library is really interested in being sort of a representative partner um, of the community, um, I, what I really am asking for from all of you in the community is that we um, be as communicative as we can um, with um, the service provider um, about what's realistic and what we all need as well. And certainly at UVA, um, that's my number one job as PI, but um, you know, you will see questions and, and uh, input and demos from us over time. And I absolutely encourage you um, to, uh, to ask questions, to push back, to, you know, to tell um, this project what it is that you need. And if you see us going in a direction that you think, wow, that's never going to be useful. Um, we want to know that. Um, on the flip side, hopefully what we're doing uh, is going to look very uh, encouraging. And um, again, we are much interested in this issue of scalability. Um, and moving away from the individual deposit model, which um, we all know is fraught. Um, and so if we can move in that direction, that's really um, one of the things that I would like to see, um, in addition to what Rachel was talking about in terms of um, multiple partners and uh, tenancy. So at that point, um, that's kind of the content that I have in terms of just you know, the boilerplate background about the project. Um, and we would be delighted to answer your questions at this point. Thank you, Alan. 
Um, I'm going to... Could you mute, please, Alan? Thanks. Um, I'm going to be very naughty and, and take the facil facilitator's uh, prerogative to answer the first question, to, to ask the first question. Um, strangely enough, I sent an email to the BL early today uh, because I hadn't realised that this Arcadia grant actually tied up with the work that BL and others had been doing with Ubiquity previously. Um, and the email was to ask um, actually Sarah Gould uh, whether she would repeat a presentation that she did in the UK um, three weeks ago at a San Vera Europe meeting, which actually demonstrated uh, what Ubiquity and the BL and their partners, who are people like Tate, the National Museum of Scotland, um, the, the um, Kew Gardens and such like, whether we could on the next partner call have that demonstrated. So <laughs> I'm going to be very rude and bounce that back to you. Do you think that would be possible, please? Um, yes, I think it will be possible. Obviously, I need to check Sarah if she's around but if not Sarah then either I or another member of my team should be able to do that. I like that question. Um, this is uh, John Dunn. Thanks uh, uh, Ellen and Rachel. This is very exciting. Uh, I had a question about um, how the project plans to work with other efforts in the community that may be working on um, uh, similar uh, or related areas, for example, the um, in the area of metrics, uh, the work that Oregon Digital is uh, doing funded by IMLS to improve metrics and analytics in HIRAX. Um, are there, how would you see the project working with that or, or similar efforts that might complement or, or uh, touch on you have this. Yes, absolutely. We want to work with you and we want to um, not duplicate that work. Um, and so, yes, let's talk. Um, and I will, John, I will bring um, Brian into that conversation as well. The metrics piece is actually a piece that um, Ubiquity is particularly interested in. Um, and so, um, you know, that's, I, I need to point him to those resources. I think, I think Margaret from Oregon State is on, on the call too. She's directly involved in that one. Okay, great. Um, yeah, send me, message me and, and let me know, um, you know, what your concerns are specifically or, you know, what the conversation should be. Um, and let's, let's do that. Questions? Ellen, this is Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi, congratulations on this. It's really awesome. Um, I'm wondering if you have or plan to sort of lay out uh, a roadmap or the milestones along the way for this, this grant period, just to get a sense of. I mean, the list of deliverables, sort of breaking that down um, on, on a timeline. Absolutely. That's work that we just started this week. Uh, you know, like we're in super, super early phases of this project. Like we're, you know, aligning on what project management tool we're going to use and how we're granularizing things. And so that was part of the conversation that we had in our very, very first uh, meetings, uh, you know, that happened this week and last week. Um, and we have initial uh, granularization or big milestones, um, and we will be setting what those are going to be. Um, I did put a link on the slide um, to, it's essentially a placeholder at this point for the project website. Um, we will be putting that information up, uh, you know, as soon as we can. Um, yes, I absolutely have in mind that there will be milestones um, spec'd out very quickly. I love, I'm looking at the project website. I love the little rocket ship. Yeah, it's true, but there's nothing there. So, yeah, you can do that. It's, uh, yeah. Awesome. Thank, yeah. thank you. Good luck. Thank you. 
out. Well, in that case, can I thank Ellen and Rachel very much for joining us. Um, as Hannah said, a very exciting prospect, uh, I think, in coming up. And we shall look forward to seeing how it's going. And if we can perhaps have a look at the work that Ubiquity and the uh, consortium of museums and galleries have been doing in this country on our next partner call, I think you'll find that very interesting indeed. Absolutely. If you just uh, send me the date for that, Richard, I'll make sure that someone can come along. Um, Ellen uh, and Rachel, please don't